Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Sophia. S Sophia the plane. Well, well, she's not. She's not plane. She's actually pretty amazing. I mean, you'll see. Hey guys, Captain Kirk here, and I'm here at Christchurch International Airport because there's a very special visitor here. She's called Sophia, and it's NASA's Flying Science Centre. So let's go check her out. Sophia stands for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. Yeah, that. But to tell us all about it is Edward Harmon. So let's go meet him now. G'day, Ed. Hi, right, Chris. Come on board. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Thanks for having me. Let me show you around our observatory. Brilliant. Great. Let's get to it. So tell me, Ed, why is the plane so special? Well, Chris, this is a highly modified Boeing 747. It actually flew as part of the Pan Am uh, fleet way 20, 20, 30 years ago. All right. Uh, but we've spent about a billion dollars modifying it, putting a 17-ton telescope in the back to do science. It's the only science platform of this size in the world, the only observatory this size in the world. Can we please go have a look at the telescope? Absolutely. Come with me. Yes. Wow, this is insane. Isn't it? I better keep my hands down so I don't touch anything. <laughs> um, what are you looking for exactly with this giant telescope? Well, Chris, the scientists are looking for, you know, how stars die, how they're born, how they form. They're looking at a lot of the molecular makeup between the interstellar medium. Where did we come from? Where are we going? Where did life come from? All of those sorts of things is what we're looking for. Have you seen any aliens yet? Not that I can tell you about, but uh, no. Top, we top we, secret, is yeah, it? Yeah, no, we haven't <laughs> seen any. We're uh, not yet. Bother. We'll keep looking, though. Good, okay, make sure you tell <laughs> me if you do. <laughs> Will do, Chris. Wow, so this looks like a pretty important place to be sitting. It sure is, Chris. It's our number one telescope operator position. So how long would the average flight of a mission be? They're all about 10 hours long. We spend about an hour getting on track, and then we do eight hours of science, and then we spend about an hour getting back home. We've had one guy that's flown on 90 flights so far. 90? Yeah, that's 900 hours on this thing. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Ed, for showing me around the plane. It's been absolutely amazing. You're welcome, Chris. Thanks for coming out and visiting us. Oh, cool. well, good luck with the rest of your missions, and have a safe flight home. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. Ah, thanks, mate. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> see you later, Chris. Well, there you have it. Soon we'll know more about Pluto's atmosphere and stars and other galaxies. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I better get back to it, so I'll catch you later. <laughs>